Hello, beautiful people. How are you? This is Libier. Happy Wednesday. How are you doing? I am so excited today. It is spring, like end of spring, beginning of summer, and I have been thinking a lot about my life and how important it is to feed myself and my family with healthy food. Don't get me wrong, I still like to eat my chips, my chicharrones, my candy, all that kind of stuff. I love to, um, I love to interject those two in my life because a girl can't live without her chicharrones, right? But I would love also to make healthy food a priority for my family. So I have five easy and really quick little recipes for you that are my go-to when I'm, you know, a little bit in a hurry or I just want something quick, but I want it to be really healthy and nourishing to my body. So if you're interested in seeing what my five healthy and easy options for a quick little snack or like a, this is probably like a, either a snack or a light lunch. Keep on watching. My name is Livier. By the way, I make videos every single week on beauty, style, and inspiration. And I guess today we're doing food inspiration, right? Oh, I just spit. That's gross. Sorry. I hope you didn't see that. Anyway. First one is my favorite. This is what I'm having like a sweet tooth. I grab a chocolate Quaker rice cake. These are the, yeah, Quaker chocolate rice cakes, but they're made with 100% whole grains. I take a rice cake, I put a little peanut butter on it, and voila! How long did that take me? Like one minute? <laughs> so fast, so easy. Mm, so good. My second option is a wrap that I make with whole wheat tortillas, flour tortillas. I heat up the tortilla, and while that's heating up, let's cut up an avocado. Oh, I love avocado, you guys. It's so good. I go like this to take the pit off. And then I put the avocado in a little bowl. Cut up a little bit of lemon and then squeeze that into there. And then I just go like this. Mash it up. Put a little bit of salt in, in here. And you could actually, you could put some garlic powder. You could put onion powder. You could put any kind of anything, whatever you like. Uh, whatever spice you like to go in with the avocado. I think it just makes it really yummy and delicious. Uh, and then I spread the avocado in here. A really, really, really nice serving of like whatever greens I have on hand. Right now I have arugula and spinach. And I just fold it up like a little burrito. And voila! This is literally my lunch my go-to lunch right now. It's so fast, so easy. I do eat it with a lot of tapatio though. And then for my third option is my savory rice cake. And these are so good, guys. This is the white cheddar rice cake. So good. This is when I'm craving something like, like a chip or something salty. You can put salsa on it if you're craving like chips and salsa. But right now I'm gonna show you what I do with my uh, savory one. So same thing that we did with the flour tortilla. I just mash some avocado and I put whatever spices and the lemon and then I just pop that on directly to the rice cake. Okay, if you guys have any ideas of what to put on a rice cake, I would love to know on a comment down below. Let's like, let's have this rice cake conversation together and come up with some really good recipes, guys because it's a really good little tip. I didn't know about this and now they have revolutionized my life. And my kids too, they love, they think, honestly, they think they're getting a treat, especially with the one that I showed you for the second option, the, the chocolate ones. But even the white cheddar ones are like, mom, can I have some rice cakes? I'm like, oh man, okay. <laughs> um, and then you can pop on whatever you want. You could do this. If I wanna get more veggies in, I just cut up little, cherry tomatoes and then I put them on there. It looks so luxurious and like, wow, look at her. She took a long time to make this. Girl, no I didn't. Five minutes, right? And this one equally, oh, pff, fail. <laughs> equally as good, let's see. Yeah, oh yeah. The cheddar, the white cheddar and the avocado, so good. It's just really, really yummy. Um, this is something I go to again when I have that savory type of feeling. Very fast and easy. Fourth, fourth idea on how to get really healthy, nourishing food into your belly, quick and easy. This is my favorite snack. 
I take cashews, I take some dark chocolate bits, and these are vegan, they're non-dairy. I don't, I forget, I'm so sorry what the brand is because I popped them in a, um, a Ziploc bag and I threw the bag away, but they do exist for any of you out there who are trying to live the vegan life or trying to not be farty with milk. Um, these are available, um, but if you aren't dairy, you know, in, incontinent, <laughs> intolerant. <laughs> if you are dairy intolerant, or if you aren't, you could just use whatever chocolate you delight in. But I love the aspect of giving yourself like that sense of eating something that's really, really yummy. You know, I think for me, I'm, I'm on, I am on a journey to. Um, healing from bulimia and I'm on a journey to healing from a lot of a lot of food stuff and I'm learning how to have a good relationship with food how to see food as this beautiful nourishing aspect of my life so that's why I'm so passionate about finding out recipes that are both delicious and nutritious <laughs> so this totally hits the spot for me when I have that little craving for something sweet um, and but I need sub sus sustenance Yes, I said a word. Sustenance. So the cashews do that for me in this snack. Um, typically, I love this snack with raspberries. Raspberries are expensive, yo. So I, I did a little bit more inexpensive right now. But if you like the raspberry life and you want to do that, raspberries, cashews, chocolate together. Explosion. Just so, so good. But for today, I'm going to show you this with strawberries and blueberries. This is something that can also be a great topping on top of yogurt, um, whether it be cashew yogurt or Greek yogurt or regular yogurt, it's just a great topping for that. So if you need it more to be like a meal meal, I would just suggest this on top of that, or this could go on top of oatmeal too. It's really yummy. And then mix a little bit of each in a little bowl. And I know that kind of looks weird. We're talking about real life, right? Sometimes real life isn't like, <laughs> this is really my snack and this is what I go to. <laughs> oh, wait, strawberry. Mm, so good. This is what I go to when I'm craving something, just a quick pick me up, especially at 3 p.m. Anybody else out there get like a huge like uh, at 3 p.m.? That's me. And this is my 3 p.m. snack sometimes that I really delight in. All right, next. My fifth idea is from Daily Harvest, and I just wanna thank Daily Harvest so much for sending me this box for me and my family. I'm so grateful and so excited to share Daily Harvest with you. You get to pick out what you want. They send you this beautiful box full of your choices. They come frozen in this box, and then you put them in your freezer until you're ready to eat. It is the most amazing thing in life because you have a meal already ready for you in a cup. The ease of this is that all you do, like for the smoothies, you fill it up with the liquid that they suggest in the back. Most of the time it's coconut water or almond milk or whatever kind of milk you like. You fill it to the top and if it's a smoothie, you pop it into your blender and then you put it back in the cup and they have a little popote. A popote is straw. And you put a popote in there and you're good to go. You take this and this is your smoothie on the go. I love it, I love it so much. They also have activated breakfasts. These are kind of like oats, right? And this is, it has pumpkin, rolled oats, maple, pecan, cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, and nutmeg. These are my favorite. The soups, the smoothies, the harvest bowls, and the lattes. Those are my ultimate favorites. This is called a harvest bowl, guys. This is literally, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is because this saves my life when I just really want a healthy meal, but I don't have the time to cook it for myself. So it comes like this. You take the top off, you dump it in a microwave safe bowl, and you pop it in the microwave for four minutes, and you have a meal ready. Okay, this particular fla flavor, the quinoa chipotle, it is my all time favorite. Look, it has the chipotle right here, and you kind of just work it into all of the quinoa and the yummy vegetables. It is delicious, guys. I. I love this particular one. They have so many different ones too that you can pick from. I love that they have 
every ingredient on the back and it tells you exactly what's in it and it tells you which items are organic and then it gives you very specific and clear directions as to how to cook every single uh, every single cup because some are different and this one is super easy because you don't have to put anything in it you just dump it in the bowl you put it in the microwave for four minutes and you have a healthy and wonderful meal in your belly right that minute I'm gonna test it out mmm that is so good that is just so delicious I will say I do add tapatio to that one too cuz you know girl a girl can't be without her tapatio I have little tiny to go packets in all of my purses that's how severe my tapatio love is <laughs> tapatio if you're watching this you know how to add your girl I feel like this is such a good way to get healthy food into your body I highly recommend it I'm on my third box it is amazing it's just so beautiful to be able to just give the gift to yourself and to your family of healthy food and it doesn't have to be complicated it doesn't have to be super long that you're in the kitchen slaving over a healthy meal it could be quick and it could be easy so I truly hope that you got something great out of this video and that you um, take these recipes and you make them your own I would love to know your opinion as to which one would you want to eat right this very second leave me a comment down below and let me know I want to thank daily harvest again for giving these to me and just being so generous with your brand I love it and I love you guys so much. I'll see you next Wednesday. Adios! So they call them freezer goals for a reason. Wanna see? Look at how cute! Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. Well, up here, and then it looks like a mess down there. <laughs> Gotta keep it real. Really love, they have magnets for the refrigerator. My favorite one is this one says hashtag freezer goals and you'll see why freezer goals because it makes your freezer look amazingly beautiful because of all the little cups it's so cute so um, it says now place your cups in the freezer ASAP and they'll be ready to blend or heat anytime so it gives you a little instructional envelope here we go here's the fun part of opening it up all of their tops are color coded with what they are so the blue ones are going to be all the suit or the harvest bowls oh my gosh guys this quinoa and chipotle one is so good this one is what this one's the butternut squash and this is one of my girls favorite smoothies is the chocolate and blueberry smoothie it is so good the really cool part about their smoothies is that they come with these little lids once you fill it you fill up the smoothie with whatever liquid you um, you want they make suggestions as to which one would be best you fill it up to the top and then you dump it into the the blender then after that you blend it and then if you're going somewhere I I even just put it back in always because it's just such a cute cup why not I put it back in here and then the straw just goes in this little guy so you have your smoothie to go this blueberry chocolate one is my girl's favorite. Also one of my favorites as well. This one is an avocado and cacao smoothie. So good. This one's a cauliflower and kimchi. Oh, this one I've never tried before. This one's a smoothie and this is blueberry and hemp. It's a chai and coconut smoothie. And it has zucchini, coconut, cauliflower, dates, cinnamon, hemp protein, MCT oil, chai spice, vanilla, and Himalayan sea salt. Holy moly, I am so excited to test this one out. We got some mangoes and greens, some mango papaya, another quinoa chipotle. This one is my favorite, you guys. This smoothie, it's the carrot and chia. Oh my goodness, it's so, so hearty, so good cold brew and almond i've never tried one of these before but this has coffee in it i believe uh yes please oh wait green coffee green coffee what the heck is green coffee i'm gonna try it and this one watermelon cucumber guys amazing amazing amazing